And here we are, the third part of Transformers vs. The Terminator. Oh my god. This miniseries, this four part miniseries is absolutely fantastic. And I absolutely adored it. So let's get started on the comic. And yeah, Optimus Prime and Bumblebee are repairing some of the Autobots they got back online on RC and a few other Autobots. And they're trying to bring back uh, Grimlock, uh, Windblade, and other Autobots as well. But they got enough to try to hunt down the Decepticons and try to figure out where they need to go. And I love it where the, the T-800 is with RC and they're going to the weapons uh, factor. And you see the Decepticons, they're raising hell, they're c destroying shit, they're holding people hostage, they're taking Energon, they're taking all this shit. And it's like, oh, that's typical Decepticon. It just feels like uh, the good old days. And I love it where you see Sarah Connor with Bumblebee. That was cool. And I love the whole part where RC takes the T-800, gets this bitchin' gun, and... Dude, I'm like, oh my god, I love it, 10 out of 10, just absolutely all that part. And then after that, we see Bumblebee get captured by Thundercracker, and oh man, it, it literally, it gets crazier from there. And then when that shit happens, lo and behold, Optimus Prime and the T-800 is there, and oh my god, this shit's gonna be fucking amazing. <laughs> This shit is awesome. The moment that happened, I was like, oh my god, this is just pure fan fiction. This is so good. This is so good. And it just gets awesome. They have a massive battle, and it just gets crazy. And then after that, the T-800 kills a couple of the Decepticons. And then the biggest surprising factor is a massive earthquake, and a bomb goes off, and it destroys, supposedly, the Autobot base. And I'm just like... No way! And then at the same time, you see the T-800 kicking some ass, and they're literally kicking the shit out of the Decepticons, and at the ending of the whole issue, Starscream se seems like, I know who you are, I know what you're doing, don't move, or you'll be dead. And it's like, oh my god, don't you take this shit, this is so fucking good, I just want part four so bad. I need it so bad. This is so greatness. So greatness. Absolutely the best comic of the year. This is the best comic of the year. This is, oh man, childhood fan fiction come true. Oh god, this is so good. Love it, the tiny little bits. Oh man. I cannot wait for part four, the finale, the the biggest conclusion of all. I wish, I wish there was a sequel to this book. I really wish there was. There are so many things they could have done. There are so many things they could have do, and it's just, oh man, I just, oh. But we're getting back to the future and all that shit, which really don't know how that's going to go. But I mean, oh man. Yeah, you guessed it. 10 out of 10. I, I, I loved it. The tiny little bits. And I'm going to say this. This is my theory. Uh, my theory is uh, the T-800 put the bomb in the Autobot base, therefore causing the earthquake to happen and destroying the rest of the Autobots. If that has come true, I would be pissed at the T-800, but yet again, I'm like, I'm not a surprise because you are there to achieve your mission and just, oh man. Best comic ever made, in my opinion. And it's just literally one of the best comics of the year. I don't care what anyone else thinks. This was awesome. I loved it the tiny little bits. 10 out of 10. Can't tell me otherwise.